All right, Zoe, close your eyes. And you're gonna imagine yourself kicking this ball in with 90,000 people screaming your name. I gotta hear the crowd. Uh, my name is Zoe Suter. I'm 16 years old. I was diagnosed with osteosarcoma on October 13th. It started over the summer when I injured my hip originally. And then as I started doing physical therapy for my hip, I realized that my knee was starting to hurt. The hip was healing and the knee was actually getting a lot worse. And that night, she didn't sleep at all. She, the next morning her knee was swollen. So then I got back yeah. in with our medical group and I was like, listen, something's seriously wrong and we need to get her in and have an MRI right away. Sure enough, they got her in and he's like, it usually takes about five days and then I got a call the next morning. And he's like, you know, I don't know how to tell you this. It's, it's she's got a, she has a tumor. And that she had 12 to 16 nodules in her lungs. And he said from that moment, he said it's osteosarcoma. I was like, wait, what? My mom was picking me up from school and I believe she told me in the car. And like when I got home to like see Zoe, it was really tough. At first I didn't really get the whole concept. I was scared. Less than a thousand kids a year are diagnosed with osteosarcoma. I finally realized what that meant and then I just started bawling when I found out. The doctor pulled Leslie and I into another room to have a conversation. And we sit down and he said, I'm so sorry, but there's gonna be a lot of grief. Zoe's probably not gonna be able to finish her sophomore year. She's never gonna be able to walk normal again. She's gonna walk with a limp. She'll never play soccer again. He basically said to us that there's nothing we can do. It just wasn't acceptable. We just had this feeling like the doctor is speaking from a world of like statistics. We just maintained this thought like not Zoe, you know? Zoe is an average and she proved to be that through the entire process. <laughs> there you go. So the first part of the protocol is 10 weeks of chemotherapy, then surgery, then it's like five weeks off and then another 20 weeks of chemotherapy. But years ago it was amputation. Yeah. So this is... This is limb salvage surgery as opposed to amputation. Soccer was what came to my mind initially. Like what, is, what would this mean, the soccer? What makes Zoe special? biggest compliment you can ever give to any kid is attitude. And so on the field, there was nothing that you were going to throw at Zoe that she wasn't going to look at and say, okay, I got this. That's why within a year, she became the captain of the team. That was nice. My role on the field is center back. It's one of the most important positions in the sense of being a leader. You are the only player on the field that really sees the whole field. She was definitely on a trajectory to be in place with the youth national teams. I know it's a very young age to think about pro or collegiate programs, but she was definitely on that path to, to go that route. Through this journey, soccer has meant a lot. I think it's been the main thing keeping me going. It's been my main source of motivation, just knowing that I want to get back on the field after this. Sport at its best prepares you for whatever comes in front of you. And I knew if there was anyone that was gonna go into this situation and win, it was gonna be Zoe. I told Zoe that she will play for me again. I only look forward to the day when it happens. Tomorrow, excited? I am looking forward to it. Also being able to be with my team again and just being at the Rose Bowl is gonna be, gonna be really fun. So girls, we're gonna start heading over to the bus. Cool, make sure you grab your stuff. Oh, sorry. That's this guy. Just out of curiosity, um, what, what do you girls know about the Rose Bowl and how it relates to women's soccer? The game that changed the history in 1999, the final that went into PKs. And that's what today is about. It's about going into a place where history was made at the Rose Bowl with people who went before you, who wanted to change the game for you. And we have another story that's colliding of a kid who is gonna impact young people who maybe it's not cancer, but maybe it's just some obstacle in their life that's gonna change them forever because they heard the story of Zoe Suter, the kid who looked cancer in the eyes at a young age when it was unexpected and moved it. That's what we're celebrating today. We're celebrating Zoe's story.
cool. That's so cool. Oh my god. We're gonna have an awesome training and a little bit different. Rather than me leading you, Zoe's <laughs> gonna be the one leading you. So she's gonna be the honorary coach today. The Rose Bowl is epic, Zoe's epic, and so we're gonna have an awesome training and, and a lot of fun. Everybody good with that? Ready and go. And time. Okay, everyone bring it in. On a jog. <laughs> yep, any notes you have? I do think that uh, somebody wants to give us a message and tell us something, so just wanna look up over there. Hey Zoe, Mia Hamm here. I know it's been a journey to get to this point in time, and the past year has been a series of unexpected hurdles that you have broached head on with an incredible positive attitude and resilient mentality. Celebrate the next chapter and think about, wait, actually, hold on a second. How cool is this, huh? Hi. Hi. Good to see you. So this is your team? Yeah, this is them. Everyone say hi. Hi. Are you surprised? Yes. It's so awesome to be here, so thank you so much. What an awesome experience. I mean, just feel the grass, it's so perfect. No, but I love the fact that uh, you're here with your team. You know, for me, this field, brings back so many amazing memories, but none more so than kind of being here with my teammates and knowing that you have your teammates, everything you've gone through, your fight against cancer and every single day waking up and wanting to beat it inspires all of us. You know, count me in as being a part of this team to help you through it, because we're here for it, all right? So you're gonna coach us up? Yeah. What are we doing? <laughs> Let's go. Ooh, well done, good save. Good save, Zoe. Oh, two Zoes? Mm -hmm. The world can't have just one. No. She's just a phenomenal young woman who is taking this cancer diagnosis head on. With her and her family and her team by her side, you know, she's relentless. Lasso. And game. Game, good job. This is some high level stuff. What next, coach? I think we go over there. Oh yeah, hey, you know what happened on this field? We had some pretty amazing PKs taken. And who do you think our fifth PK taker was? Do you remember? It's because she's going to step up and show you what to do. What's happening? <gasps> What's up? <laughs> Hi. How are you? <laughs> How's the day going so far? Can we believe this? No. Can we believe we're right here? This is a historic, this is the best, best stadium in my opinion in the country. Is your heart racing like mine? Mm -hmm. Mine is too. <laughs> right? Unbelievable. <laughs> Who likes to take penalty kicks? Yeah! Put your hand up really high. Yeah? Should we take some? Let's take some. Yeah? Let's do this. We're actually gonna have a moment. We're, We're gonna have a moment. So can you do me a favor and get to the position that you would kick from? And then I'm gonna ask you to close your eyes. I'm gonna ask you to, to see yourself making this penalty kick. And you're gonna imagine yourself kicking this ball in with 90,000 people okay. screaming your name. And you're gonna turn around and you're just gonna celebrate. I'm just gonna close your eyes. Hold on, I gotta hear the crowd. I just celebrate? Yeah! Yeah! Yes. <laughs> I'm just gonna try and yeah. see if I can kick one in. For Zoe. And that's about as good as it was in the game, just a little higher. 
She took the pain off the post. Today, we're celebrating Zoe and her resiliency and her toughness to let her know how much she's loved and supported and the fact that this field belongs to her and her teammates and to every other girl who has dreams about becoming something awesome. We should bring out some uh, someone else to play with us. What do you think? We're going to bring out Melanie or Sanis. Hi, everyone. Come on, Melanie. <gasps> Dang! Let's go, Mel! <laughs> Dang! Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> Can I join you guys? I, I, want, I want you to come over here for a minute. I, I want to just say, I just want to say something to all of you. This field right here, 24 years ago, was the first time that a women's event on this scale happened. And I believe that before that, we didn't think that this field belonged to us. And now we have Melanie, who's your age, owning these fields. I just want you to feel that you belong here. And that this is a, a moment for all of us to celebrate girls and women in soccer specifically. I think we are leading the way, but that girls and women everywhere are doing great things. And so let's, uh, let's get back to playing this game and try not to let Melanie win, okay? <laughs> All right, let's go. I love you. It's so cool being here with you all. I think um, the history of this place, to be able to share this venue with you all has been so much fun for us. You know, one of the things we talk about sport, it's able to do, especially team sport, is lift each other up and create new memories. And I think this day just gave all of us a new memory, something positive. And I know you all are inspired by Zoe every single day, your resiliency, and you all continue to show up and be there for Zoe. So thank you, thank you for letting us be a part of this. It's been so much fun. It's not just today, Zoe, that we're celebrating you and we're, we're here to um, show you that we support you, it's every day. And to be on this field is a reminder that this game and these venues belong to you too. It's kind of like a breath of fresh air, like to be around people my age. You're really inspiring to a lot of people and I hope you know that and maybe one day we can play against each other. Yeah. Should we like do a big cheer? So for the U.S., we'd say, USA, 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 uh. <laughs> that, that was our cheer. Come on, you ready to do it? This is not a time to be quiet. Yeah, get in This here. is get in close. This is like, say it like you mean it. I showered. Get in <laughs> Say it like you mean it. On three. One, two, three. Uso, Uso, Uso! Yeah. yeah. There were a couple players that could not make it today, and they want to they wanna talk to you guys. So if we look at the big board, Real quick. Hi Zoe, I wish I could have made it today, but I just wanted to let you know that you were such an inspiration to those around you. And thank you so much for telling your story and just inspiring everyone around you. I know one of my teammates has something to share with you. Hey Zoe, Julie Ertz here. I'm so sorry I couldn't be there today, but I still wanted to take the time to tell you how inspiring your story has been. I look forward to watching your dreams come true, but before I go, I know there's one more person who has a few words to say. Hi uh, Zoe. Peyton Manning here. Listen, hope you've had a great time today with your teammates and these amazing athletes. And I know that today has already been full of surprises, but there is one more. On behalf of Nationwide and Omaha Productions, we would like to present you with a check to fulfill your GoFundMe goal. Thank you for letting us tell your story. We are rooting for you every step of the way. All the best, Zoe. Zoe, thank you for helping you know, us tell your story. Nationwide was inspired and in partnership with Omaha Productions is really excited to present you with this big check. Congratulations. Zoe! We're here and we're grateful and we don't know what's next. We just know that Zoe's a warrior. The next chapter for her is, is using her story as this powerful tool to help really inspire a generation that needs a voice that's positive. What's next for you? 
now that I'm done with chemo and I can start getting back to my normal life and just slowly getting back on the soccer field.